Hi guys, welcome back. We are on to part three of buying a home. Now I wanted to give you guys some updates and just talk a little bit. Um, I feel like this is how I started last, last video, part two. But um, the sun is going down so the lighting's a little bit weird. Anyways, we have a couple more things that have happened and I just wanna share it with you guys because I realize like each day I keep thinking, oh, I need to update the vlog, update every everything that's going on, and then I just forget. <laughs> so today is September 29th. I got some more documents that I have to sign for the house, and um, I also have to have my parents sign because they're co-borrowers. If you haven't watched the previous ones, go back and get some more information about that. Yeah, it's progressing pretty well. The most recent updates are I'm trying to estimate on home renovations. So for the popcorn ceilings, I got a quote yesterday for $3,000. <laughs> I was like, you want what now? It's definitely gonna be a bigger expense, but the reason behind that is it'll look better. You know, right now the house looks kind of dated because of the popcorn ceilings. So it's gonna make it look fresh, like a new home. It also helps with the resale value of the house. And finally, I just hate the way it looks. If I'm being really honest, I hate it. There's also like a minor crack along right where the hallway is, and I'd like for that to be fixed as well, you know. They said it's not anything structural, it's just, you know, the house moved a little bit. I actually looked it up to see if I could DIY it myself because, you know, it's a huge expense and my ceilings aren't that tall so my thought process was oh I'll do it myself well I looked into it it's so hard <laughs> and you know it's not like you take off the ceiling and then it's smooth no 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 no, no. the reason why they did it is because it was cheap and you could hide any imperfections what they do is they take it off retape it retexturize it and it looks great. <laughs> and there's no way I have the patience to do that, nor the time. I'm gonna get some more quotes, try to see if 3,000 is actually a reasonable price because that seems like a lot of money. <laughs> I've also been buying some furniture and stuff for the house. I went to Home Goods, Home Depot, and Marshalls mainly kitchen appliances, that kind of thing. I also bought some nightstands from, um, I just lost my train of thought, Facebook Marketplace. I have some footage from a couple days ago when I went to go look at couches. So I'll put that in right now. I am about to leave and go to Ashley Furniture. I wanna check out Lazy Boy and see if they have anything on clearance. And I have two side tables that I need to pick up somebody from Facebook Marketplace is selling them. So we have a little bit of stuff to do. I also bought a microwave for 20 bucks. It's basically brand new <laughs> and I got that yesterday. So we're doing good. We're doing good on buying things secondhand. I've been trying to look for a couch secondhand and it has not been working out. So I'm thinking I might have to buy one at like Ashley Furniture or Lazy Boy. So I'm kind of pricing them out and see how much I can really spend on it because I don't want to spend more than $1,500. So hopefully I can film a little bit for you guys and you can see the couches. And I don't think I'll be picking one out today, but I just want to see what they have. <laughs> to both Ashley Home and I'm right outside of Lazy Boy. I just knew that Lazy Boy was out of my budget. I was just hoping they would have something. They're saying that they're gonna be doing a remodel in like the new year. And so then all of their obviously display pieces are gonna be clearanced out, but I can't wait that long. <laughs> like, of course the quality is so much better and it's like really nice 
but Ashley Home is in my budget. It's on sale right now and it's like a good size for what I want because a lot of places they only really do like a two seat sofa and then a chase whereas I want a three seat sofa and a chase. I'm gonna go maybe to one more place and then probably head back there. furniture I didn't find anything that I was like in love with but you know it's always good to see find out if there's anything you know that you're like hmm maybe this but no I'm gonna head back probably over to Ashley furniture and iron out some details and probably get the couch there is like this crazy fire that just happened let me show you I don't know if you can see but there's like I don't know maybe it's a car because I'm right by the freeway hopefully not something's caught on fire it's going we're back so I ended up not finishing that clip because I decided I need to wait until I actually am in the house to buy a couch or figure out what I want to do with a couch because it is really expensive I also found one pretty much exactly the same on Facebook Marketplace for $500 versus, a hundred, I think they wanted like 1,200 or something. I just, I can't justify it. I really can't for a couch, especially because, you know, once I do eventually remodel, I'll probably get a new couch. The other big expense is going to be putting up closet doors on the hallway. Now, it's such a big closet that it's gonna need four doors, which are 50 bucks a piece, and they need tracks. And I might have to get custom sized doors. Ah, uh, I've never been so more annoyed. <laughs> now I understand why it is so hard to be a homeowner. Like you're constantly thinking about everything that you need to fix and improve and it just, it's exhausting. <laughs> but um, at the same time, it's like, you know, it's just a learning process. It doesn't all have to be done right away either. I'm trying to take it one step at a time. The other thing I did set up was the home inspection, pest and the roof inspection. The home inspection happened yesterday. I'm still waiting to hear back uh, from my real estate agent, like what, what happened, if it went well, like if they found anything. So I'll let you know once I find out. Then the pest control and roof inspection still has to happen sometime, hopefully this week or next week. I just recently started looking for a roommate. Now, I'm just being completely honest with you guys. I could not afford this house without having a roommate, point blank. Like, yes, I could pay the mortgage, but I wouldn't be able to pay for anything else. I wouldn't be able to pay for water, electricity, my phone, anything, like <laughs> nothing. So it would have been the same if I rented an apartment. I would have to have a roommate there too. I just chose to have a home and have a renter. I signed up for a bunch of different apps. I'm going to <laughs> look at which ones I signed up for so you guys get an idea. Spare room, Roomster is what has gotten the most results and there's another one called roommates.com. So you can look for based on your area and your preferences for age, location, um, gender, everything found so far it has been kind of difficult to find anyone but i'm used to getting like results really quickly and i think it might take a while before i find somebody that's the right fit but i do have a phone interview it's not really an interview but like a phone 
kind of thing in about 20 minutes with somebody to see, you know, if it's a right fit for them, a right fit for me. And, you know, my thought process behind this is, yes, we are strangers. We will hopefully have a contract set up and I have to keep myself protected because I'm a home owner. I'm not just somebody that's having a roommate. A lot of responsibility on my end as well. I'm also excited to have a roommate. I think it's kind of cool at the same time. You know, I've lived with family all of my life. I think it'll just be a new experience and I'm kind of looking forward to having that, making new memories. We don't have to be best friends, but you know, cohabitating with another person, I'm sure it's gonna be different, but I don't expect it to be very difficult. Um, I'm pretty easy to live with. <laughs> at least that's what my sister says, I don't know. Like I mentioned before, I did order a ton of stuff. Um, so maybe later in this video, I can do a little haul of some homeware and show you guys what I've picked up for the house. And yeah, I need to go eat dinner before I have a call. So I will talk to you guys later one part of this home buying process that I have not talked about enough is how stressful it is and that I should be really excited about this house and sometimes I am that still doesn't feel real but a lot of the times I am so so stressed and so terrified because I could fuck this up. I could not have enough money and I I've been I've been saving for a really long time and I could just not have enough money. And for, as somebody who has tried to just keep money in my bank account for so long, I'm so scared of losing it. It was a security blanket for me. And it's gonna be gone soon. And I feel really exposed and really, really vulnerable at this moment. Um, yep. I'm gonna go to bed now. I bought a lot of stuff. Are you gonna help me show them? Are you so helpful? So, I think I promised you guys that I would go through everything that I bought so far for the house. Um, it's a lot. <laughs> also, my sister's front room has become a storage. <laughs> Let me just show you. So, I just picked this up today from Marketplace. I think I'm going to put it in my bathroom above the toilet. These are my two nightstands. I think I mentioned it to you guys in a previous vlog. 95 for both. And they look brand new. And then of course, you have seen the dining table and everything. I also picked up this side table. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. <laughs> um, I saw, I think his name, username is Lone Fox. Talk about them and he got them as nightstands. And oh my God. <laughs> I scoured the internet trying to find them. Where should we even start? I feel like I have so much stuff. I really am so excited for my pots and pans. I don't want to take it out of the packaging because I just want to be able to transfer it over to the new house. But it is this 11 piece set. It has three pots or no, four pots, a baking tray, um, and then two pans, and I think some other stuff as well. But this shows a better picture of it. Uh, oh, there's a glare. Uh, yeah, they're just gray. And I got them off of JCPenney. I'll try to link them down below because they had great reviews and it was only $95 on sale. 
Then I also got this utensil holder thing. And I liked it because it's like a, a marble and I thought it was gonna be a faux marble. No, this is heavy duty. <laughs> it's huge. And I'm, I'm not sure if I wanna keep it. It was 20 bucks. Then I picked up some like plates off of target.com. These are only, I think $2 a piece. I really like having plastic plates because and then I don't have to worry about ruining them. Is that, is that bad? I just, I don't know. I love the size of them. They're very large and they're from what collection? Made by design. Very simple. I also got some curtain hooks. And, ooh, I also got these Cuisinart knife set because buying a knife block with a full set is astronomically expensive. Um, so I decided, you know, I just really need steak knives and then I need like a few knives. So I got these ones. Look how cute they are, they're rainbow. These also had great reviews, they're Cuisinart. And I don't know if I either want to have them in a drawer, cause I don't, you know, I'm not cutting things all the time that I need them out, like on a block, but I could also get one of those display kind of like magnets and then hang them up and I think it would look cute, right? The other thing I got was all of the utensils. And lastly, some plastic cups these are kind of like a frosted pink color and i really like how they look um i also want to get some bowls i think i ordered them and they just haven't come i'm waiting to buy like real plates and mugs glassware because i haven't seen anything that i truly love and in the meantime this works on to marshall's and home goods I definitely did a little bit of damage. We have some oven mitts and a matching tea towels to go with it. I just like the gray tones and these were really inexpensive. They're only $6.99 for both of them. My countertops are actually a laminate so if you put anything hot on them they're gonna like get messed up and they already have like a few imperfections on them so I picked up these kind of um, things that you can set hot things on, like a like a pan or something, and I really love the design. It's just so fun to be able to shop for my home and like find things that I really like. Ah, oh, I just love it. Okay. <laughs> I also picked up these sunflower dish drying mats that I can put with my um, drying rack, which. I mean, there's nothing really special with it. Just thought I would show you. I, I was hoping to get one where it had like the utensil tray like all the way across, but I'm probably just gonna stick the utensils in the dishwasher anyways, so it's fine. Um, but I, I'm obsessed with sunflowers if you guys know me. So that's everything from Marshalls. Then onto Home Goods. We have a shower curtain shower curtain liner. This is the best place to get shower curtain stuff, you guys, because this was $10 and this one was $6. And at Target, they're way more expensive for whatever reason. Some measuring cups, measuring spoons, and this is actually for my friend's dog. She just got a puppy, but I have to put this away because Hurley's gonna want it. I think he's like asleep behind me. There he is. <laughs> I think I like spoiled him a little too much because every time that I bring him bags then he thinks there's something for him because I, I like to bring him T-O-Y-S. Sometimes, sometimes I'm trying to be good because he has a lot. Okay, next up <laughs> I did get these bowls. They have lids, which I like as well. So if I ever need to store something, if I'm gonna have like a party, then I can do that. And it does come with six bowls, six lids. And I really like the color of them. 
definitely something I wanted to pick up were these for the cabinets. It's really like, I don't know, just something that I always notice if cabinets don't have a liner, just do it. Like I, I mean, it's a more expensive thing. Well, these are only $6.99, but I just don't like the idea of all of my utensils and um, stuff touching the actual cabinet. A whisk. <laughs> and I think that's it. Um, of course, I've been buying stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I'm trying to figure out a couch. Hurley. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. I've been trying to figure out a couch and I'm at like a midway point where I don't know. It's it's either going to work out or I'm going to take my sister's old couch. So we're, yeah. What do you think of that? He is so cute. I can't believe I'm not going to be living with him anymore. But I'm sure I will come and visit him like every week. So no worries. I'm sure you guys will see him as well. I'm going to put away everything. I wanted to quickly mention in the last clip, I felt like it was kind of abrupt. I was definitely having a moment. <laughs> um, you know, I think everyone goes through this multiple times when trying to buy a house. It's like, it is so incredibly stressful. And I have been sleep deprived <laughs> for, I think, Four weeks now I've been getting like five hours of sleep every night and it definitely has messed with me and I was just like out of it that night but yeah at the same time I think my feelings are totally valid you know this is a completely new process for me um, I ended up talking to my parents a little bit more and they understood my concern and they're like we're here you know they support me fully and they understand how stressful it is because of their background in buying homes and selling homes. It was really reassuring to talk to them and feel like I wasn't alone because a lot of the times it does feel that way. Um, and I want to hopefully do a video talking about everything I wish I knew before buying a home because I think it'll be so helpful. I also want to talk about the price of the home, how I am budgeting and just give you more insight onto what it takes to own a home. I still am doing a couple of interviews for roommates, potential roommates, and you know, hopefully I'll have some more information on that um, coming up. I'm expecting a move-in date of October 30th. Ah, so amazing, so nerve-wracking. Oh my God, but yeah more to come and um i think i'm going to end this part of the vlog here and start up part four soon i definitely think this video has been a long one i will talk to you guys in another video part four uh so stay tuned for that i hope you guys are having a great day and i will talk to you again soon bye